going on? I am laughing my ASS at Nappy Head of Ho, but she's done several videos on um, the uh, James Charles situation. But then I guess she has some people you have to understand that that young lady, and those of you who don't know, is nappy headed jojoba. I stand for her. I love her content. She has a quirky sense of humor. She's very blunt. Um, she does curse. Those of you who who are not new, just forewarning, she does curse. But it's it's not that, not all the time, I should say. Um, but every now and then you will hear a, a f bomb or something. And um, she was stating on her recent one of her recent videos that her channel was going a new direction look you guys and i've said this before i get that you initially subscribe to someone and if they have hair you know the content is hair um you may feel a certain type of way but we don't have to watch them and if if they've been on youtube for a while like she's been on youtube for a while it gets old i mean we're more than just our hair there's nothing wrong with bringing other topics to your to her channel and baby there are literally hundreds of other natural hair hair uh youtubers out there like seriously so many so um yeah she's changing the direction of her channel and she's gotten a, a little pushback from some viewers but it is what it is y'all I'm, I'm struggling with this perm rod set i can say that because i can't see um I subscribe to a young lady named I am Aloho. Is it a, it's E L O H O. Um, and I've seen some of her videos come up on my feed as suggested and recommend, and I just never watched it. But baby, when I started watching it, I was like, oh, I like you. I like you a lot. Yeah, she she's one of those too. She tell it how it is. And um, some people may not like it and uh, they don't have to watch, girl. You just don't have to watch it, so. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm going to do a little bit of oil to help with that frizziness, I think. Um, so let me tell y'all about some music I've been listening to. I am absolutely obsessed with a young lady by the name of Doja Cat. When I tell you she is the weirdest little thing I've come across in a long time, but I like weird people. I really do. Um, and she's weird in a good way. She does not follow the code, so to speak. She has a song called, one of her most popular songs is Moo, I'm a Cow Moo, which really she's trolling. She was, it was a joke. Um, another one is Tia Tamara, which I kind of put a sample of that in my Bantu Nod video. I love that song. I listen to it almost every morning. JB Lil rose his eyes. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> um i like her she's so different she really is not like that um another person who i started watching and i had to like stop watching her videos and listen to her music because it was it's a little too much megan the stallion now megan is based out of houston come through houston um she's been around for a little while but she's finally getting the recognition and uh She's raunchy. She's the rap version of Adina Howard. And I don't know, if, I think I said this in one of my vlogs. There is only so much coochie popping, talking about money and drinking that one can handle. Um, she's worse than Trina. She's kind of like Lila Kim, but with a Southern flair. And you know, she can rap. She can actually rap and she has a deeper voice. Uh, she has a natural body. I was laughing at some of the comments because people were like, she has a natural body and oh my God, like, it, how can she be that thick? Girl, Texas bread. The women in the South, let me tell you something. When I was in college, there was women walking around, and this is no exaggeration. There were women walking around in college with 26 inch waists and 40 40 inch hips my best friend was like that she literally had like a 26 28 inch waist and i think she was actually 42 at the bottom <laughs> it is possible so yeah megan is all natural all right i have to do those two over because it was complicated um so y'all i'm going to talk about something serious real quick with two subjects that's kind of serious 
I am so tired of hearing these stories of young girls. And when I mean young, I mean 10 and, 10 and under. Young girls who are being murdered by a boyfriend, meaning murdered by the mother's boyfriend. I really do not understand why these young girls are so quick to jump into a relationship with someone else. Is it really that important? Is, is getting some penis really that important to you to where you will put your child's uh, safety at risk? And nine times out of 10, most of these girls, young girls are being molested, raped, and then killed by the um, boyfriend. Let me tell you something. The short time I was single and by myself, um, I could have definitely jumped into a relationship with someone absolutely but that wasn't my priority my priority was working providing for my son and doing whatever the hell i needed to do i was not worried about no man now you know later on yeah and i get it you know <sighs> there are girls too most of these girls are under the age of 25 they jump into these relationships and boom like literally every week every week i am seeing a story i, I was on facebook today I saw a story of a three-year-old little girl who the boyfriend called the um, paramedics and they got there and the little girl was unconscious, took her to the hospital and she was severely raped and abused and she didn't make it, she died. And apparently the mother knew about it. The mother knew she was being raped and didn't do anything about it. That is absolutely horrible and I just don't understand First of all, there are some people who should never be parents. You should not be parents. If you cannot put your child needs before your own, you should not be a parent. Give your baby up to the grandmother or give the baby up for adoption. That is just horrible. Um, and I know a lot of people may not agree with this, but I honestly think this is my opinion. Um, and it's okay, you don't have to agree with me. But I think there is no place in our society for pedophiles. I don't. I do believe in a, you know, the proper process of, of a judicial system. But in my opinion, if someone has been found guilty of molesting and raping a child, they should get the death sentence. There is no, there's no rehabilitation for people like that. They end up typically doing it over and over for predators, serial predators. You, there's no reason for you to be alive, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but none, no reason at all. Just disgusting. Seeing a lot of that. Um, seeing still a lot of, not not as much, and there's probably some that are not being reported of children who are committing suicide due to bullying, but even just in general, children who are being bullied. Um, I've been speaking to my best friend off and on, and her little girl is being bullied at school. And kids are being bullied over the craziest thing. It, and the sad thing about it with these schools is that a lot of the times the kids that are being bullied, they're not allowed to do something about it. So dog, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. You know what I mean? We have told JB that he has every right to defend himself, whether whether verbally or physically, against someone who is bullying them. I am so sorry. I know these schools nowadays they preach that we don't want a uh, um what do they say? We don't want to encourage an environment of violence. Well, I don't want my kid coming home crying either and threatening suicide. Did y'all see this, the um, video of the California mom who went into the school and basically was like, I believe it was boys that were bullying her little girl, and she was basically like, anyone who keeps doing this, send your mama to me senior sisters, they have, you know, I need them to be over 18, square up. I'm, she said, free ass whoopings for everyone. 18 and over, free ass whoopings. That is what I'm talking, look, and she went through the proper process of contacting the school. She asked to speak to the parents. Um, the school refused for her to speak to the parents. You, as a parent, you have to do everything possible to, to protect your child. The school isn't going to do it. The teachers aren't going to do it. The, the bully parents are not going to do it. And honestly, it's still our responsibility at the end of the day. You will hope that you had support from the school, the administration, but they're not doing it. And I think that at this point, there's so many kids that are being bullied. And because they're not seeing anything positive being done to the bullies, a lot of the kids don't even report it. 
thank God now I still have a connection with JB and I hope to maintain it to where he tells me everything. He has told me about a child that says something about his skin tone, laughing that he was dark. Oh yes, I rolled up on the school. I just busted up in the middle of, of lunch. I walked right past JB and it wasn't for this reason, it was for another reason. He was doing some stuff to JB, just being mean. I just rolled up in the middle of lunch and was like, hey, and just sat down and had lunch with him instead of JB and I, and I spoke to him. And I said, I'm, I'm gonna need for you to stop that. I know his mom, I've already told the mom once, This at this point, this was like the third of, actually this was like the fourth or fifth time this kid had been messing with JB, just. So he stopped. I mean, every now and then JB would say something, but the consistency, consistently doing it every day has stopped. Yeah, no, JB is also in karate. And so we have little little drills with JB. You know, I ask him, like, okay, if someone hits you for the first time, what do you do? He says, I will, um, I will tell the teacher. I said, okay. If someone continues to hit you, what do you do? And so he thought about it for a while. I could see his little brain working. And he's like, well, you may need to move me to another school because I'm going to knock them out. I said, oh. Oh, oh, I like that answer. He said, or, or um, I could hit them and then go tell the teacher. I said, I like that answer too. <laughs> Look, I'm not encouraging my child to be running up on kids, but he has every right to defend himself. I even, when I was keeping my little neighbor and I heard it happen, I heard the hit and I heard JB um, crying. I pulled that child aside. I said, you need to keep your hands to yourself because I have taught my child to hit him, to, to hit people back. I said, as a matter of fact, I want you to stand up. I had him stand up, I had JB to stand up. JB has him by an inch and about five, five or six pounds. I said, JB is bigger than you. If he wanted to, he could lay you out. They five years old, but I'm letting you know. He could lay you out, sweetheart. So you may want to keep your hands to yourself. Char, he never touched JB again. And I, I don't think, I didn't keep him again. <laughs> Um, they're all absolute mess. Um, so yeah, y'all, in between the bullying and these, these young girls being, you know, taken advantage of and just the mother's not care. It's just been sad. I try not to get online and look at that type of stuff because it can be very depressing. Like, honestly, it can be. Um, so moving on, y'all. Those of you know, uh, moving on to personal, personal stuff. Those of you know, I got a promotion at my job and... Hold on, let me get this hair out the way. I've been working towards a promotion for a couple of years now, so I was very grateful to get it. And that just got me thinking about um, what did I wanna do as a career? And I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. Um, those of you who don't know, I'm what's called a LMS, a Learning Management System Administrator. Basically what that is is, excuse me, I'm belching. Oftentimes we are hired, well you should go through what's called workplace harassment, if you are in the medical field, HIPAA, there may be a number of compliance training that you have to take. Um, perhaps there is some type of training you need to take for the job itself. And let's say it's online. Well, I am the person that manages that um, training online. Now, I don't create the actual WBT or what's called the web-based training, but I would register you for the training. I will ensure that you get credit. I will manage materials. All of that behind the scene is what a learning management administrator would typically do. Now, what I wanted to go into before I got pregnant, <laughs> what I wanted to really go into was, um, uh, I'm blank, going blank, y'all, an LMS administrator consultation to where you would hire me just to set up your system and then I would bounce out. They make good money. Oh baby, they make really good money. Um, but because I didn't go in there, I'm not I'm I'm doing good. I'm comfortable, but I could be making more if I did that. Um, my friend and, and coworker Nick, he went into that for a while and he was making good money. The reason why I can't do that now is that they tend to travel a lot, people who do that. Um, because they travel to the client location and yeah and a lot of those jobs tend to be contract jobs too so i can't do that i need to guarantee that i have benefits um so you know things change you know i'm an introvert i have the type of personality that attracts a lot of different people i don't go to work to make friends i go to work to work i'm that type of person i'm there for a reason to work but a lot of people get attracted to my personality and then they want to be my friend um but i will say a lot of the good friends i have are from work and that's like one or two within that particular like 
company that I've become really close to. I don't overshare information at work. I'm not like that. I know some people who are. Girl, don't be that way. You don't want to be telling people all your business at work. It's just not it's not profession professional, you know what I mean? Um, but one thing I, I have done and I do advise is make sure you get close to one or two people and make one of those people someone who's not on your team. Um, Christine is my go-to. We're pretty close. And I have another friend who works in quality assurance QA, Michelanda. And she's been a huge help to me. If I wanted to, I know that she could train me to go in that field, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to I don't want to do QA. It's more IT focused and I don't want to do that do that. So y'all need to be thinking about where I want to be in the next 10 years with my life. Um, I know a lot of things was on stand hold, on standstill after I had JV. I started to redo some things that I've been passionate about. I did write a children's book. Like it's been like two months. Um, my friend offered to edit it. I'm gonna contact her this week actually and let her know, girl, I'm going to Texas. When I get back, we're gonna focus on editing my book. Um, so yeah, y'all, you know, you, oftentimes you get you get those questionnaires to say, well, if there's one thing that you could do without getting paid um, and that you're passionate about, um, what would it be? Nothing. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, oh my God, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm using the wrong thing. Hold on, y'all. Um, yeah, no, nothing. I, I would sit at home and just be cute and fluffy. But you know, for someone like me that's good at doing a lot of different things, that's hard. That's really hard. I was going to say, because I, I like old people, y'all. I have a soft spot for old people. So, you know, in one life, I would have loved to have a group home and care for old people. Um, that's, that's such a, a different <laughs> area for me too. Um, Maybe later on in life, that's something I could consider. Um, it, it doesn't even have to be me opening up one. Just, just possibly even getting back to volunteering um, with the elderly. I could, I should really consider that, you know? So, all right, y'all. I'm chit-chatting it up. Let me continue to roll up this hair. Y'all, real quick, the wife group. I know, I'm all over the place. Girl, if you are single, count your blessings, girl. Stay single, because some of these women, first of all, nearly every, I would say at this point, nearly every day, the group has almost 30,000 women, right? Why am I whispering? They can't hear me. Nearly every day, at least one woman uh, talks about that she's found out that her husband is cheating, which I think is absolutely horrible, right? So y'all know y'all heard me talk about in my vlog how the one woman she found out, her basically her husband walked out on her while she was in the dang old shower, girl. He just packed up his stuff and left. My, I told y'all, my husband knows I'm crazy. Whenever he tries me, I let him know. I said, remember that time I went down, I drove down to Dallas and threw your VCR at you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it was about. I don't even remember. But my crazy ass drove from Denton to Dallas, which is really not that far. But I just remember I got there after class and I just stayed in my car, my little Sentra, and waited till he got there. I had his VCR. Child, I chunked that VCR. <laughs> I said, here's your VCR. <laughs> Crazy ass. Ooh, girl, yeah. Mm -mm. So anyway, wife group. I'm all over the place, girl. Wife group. So... A couple of weeks ago, first of all, just when I think, you know, sometimes I read these stories or posts and I'm thinking, this this can't be real. Like, th this can't be real life that someone's actually going through this. So a woman posted last week, because it still has comments going on it, right? She posted last week that the, her husband does not want her involved with their kids, with his kids. I think he has like two or three kids with, with his first wife. So when they, when they first got together, he said he didn't want her involved with his kids because he didn't want any outside influence, influences. To me, that was, that was already a red flag in my opinion. 10 years later, 
10 years later, I guess one of the kids is living with, with them. His daughter wants to have a graduation party. So the wife asked him, this is a vent post by the way, she's not asking for anything. The new wife, second wife asked her husband, is it okay for her to have a graduation party for his daughter? Because again, he doesn't want her involved with the girl who lives there and who's been living there since she was eight years old. So he agrees to it. He's like, yeah, you can, you can throw a party for her. That's fine. Tell me why the wife posted in her post. She said he completely ignored that. Canceled what she was doing. Went behind her back, invited all these different people, cook all the food, just held everything without her knowing, and boom, here's the party that I did. I was when, when I, I had to read that post multiple times because it's first of all, why would you marry someone who doesn't want you involved with someone who lives there, a child? I said, you know, I, I respond. I'm like narcissist, narcissistic and controlling. So yeah, no, mm -mm. and what what will happen? since the daughter probably doesn't know that her father has told the mother not to be involved, what will happen is that daughter will, will, she probably does resent her for not having a relationship or not trying to have a relationship because she doesn't know that her father said, no, I don't want her to have a relationship with you. Y'all crazy, crazy. So another one who she posts every now and then, I have to remember, She's one of those, if you were in a Facebook, one of those Facebook groups, you know you have one or two people who always has drama. Child, this one girl, <laughs> she's young. When she posted a couple of weeks ago, it was doing tax season. So this was like around March. So she was like, you know, my husband, no, my, my soon to be ex is basically saying how I need to give him Oh, he's not willing to give me um, any of the tax refund money because he needs something with his car. Yada, yada. Why did I scroll down? First of all, that's that's a bunch of BS. If you file your taxes together, he needs to give you some money. So I look at a couple of comments later on and she's like, someone said, why are you still bothering him? Isn't this the guy that you caught sleeping with other men? I said, you know what? I am done. I am so <laughs> So not only is your husband cheating with you, he's cheating with you with other men and he's, he's taking you know money and not giving you money basically out of your tax refund. Girl, what? <sighs> Lord have mercy, child. I'm okay with my husband. Like he is born. He doesn't talk to me a lot because he, he's an extreme introvert. He doesn't talk that much. I, I'll be having a whole damn conversation with myself. <laughs> That's why I come on here talking to y'all. But I ain't got to worry about any of this type of foolery. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. And it's not even, it's not even like you can say it's young people. It's all ages acting crazy. All, I feel like the crazier ones are the ones in the mid forties. <laughs> and I know some of y'all agree. Oh Lord have mercy y'all. I'm putting a little bit more moose on this end cause I wanted to crawl around this rod. All right, y'all, so that is it with this chit-chat. I am talking. I'm, it's going to be 2020 by the time I'm done with this. So that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, as always, to all of my subscribers. Take care.